Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel and today I'm back again for another My Team video. So today we're for round 11 at Austria, uh, or the Red Bull Ring. Now this one's quite an interesting one because it is actually going to be, well, maybe Louis Delatraz last race with our team. Not too sure yet, as you can see, um, four days left on his contract and I'm, I'm still watching Jack Aikens at the moment. Um, so I may plan to try and steal him. Um, I'm not too sure yet, but we, uh, we, we we're just thinking about it basically because as you see, he's got more experience and stuff. And with all our sim upgrades and stuff like that, he, uh, Jack Aikens can level up much better and will have way more experience and racecraft and stuff like that and awareness straight away much better. Obviously, Louis Delatrez had the problem in Spain, which showed his awareness weakness. So yeah, I would like to try and get Jack Aikens if I can, because he's also my favourite Formula 2 driver. But Louis Delatrez, I'm going to give him one more chance. This is his last chance in Austria. I want him to at least get top 14. If he gets top 14, then he can stay. If he doesn't, then I'm afraid he might be out. But... Yeah, it was it was kind of disappointing last time because obviously we 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 won the race. Uh, me personally, I won the race. But Jack, Louis Delatraz, he was down a bit. When he he was he was last, and he was on the same strategy, the right strategy, but he just didn't pull off pull it off. I don't know how, I don't know why, but yeah, I feel like we need someone who can, you know, be up there with us as well. I mean, obviously our car's not a winning car or anything, but. It can do good, it can get good results. So, yeah, I'm going to see what we can do um, and just see what the Louis Denner tries to pull out this one. This is the last chance, really. But, yeah, let's just jump straight into qualifying then. So, just looking here, and it looks like it's going to be dry qualifying, dry base. So, that's good. Um, yeah, let's just jump straight into the qualifying session. Them. Did pretty well, not too bad there. Not gonna lie, I think it's Louis Delatraz ahead of me. Oh no! A oh, piss. So I am only gonna get this one run. I mean, there's, it's nowhere near the end of the session, but I don't want to waste another set of tyres. So yeah, this will be my one and only run basically. I'm gonna stay quiet for the slack, so I need to concentrate now. P8, that's not bad, that's not bad. Damn, let's go. What a lap. Well, there we go then, P10, that's a really nice result actually for our team. Uh, I felt really confident with the setup in the car today, so that was really good. Um, Delatraz, Delatraz, you're not making this easy for yourself. Come on, please. I don't want to get rid of him, but he's been here since the beginning of the team, which is only a couple, well, a couple races, 11 races to be exact, but... I don't really want to get rid of him until, you know, but I just feel like Jack Aikens would be better at the moment. Welcome to the beautiful Styrian Mountains for another chapter in the story of the Austrian Grand Prix.
It's one of the shortest laps on the calendar today then, with seven rights and just three lefts, making up the ten corners of this high-speed circuit. Turn two is barely a corner at all. They'll be flat out through there, a left-hand kink into the uphill braking zone of turn three. Turns one, three and four are all potential opportunities to overtake. Alongside me to discuss all the action today is Anthony Davidson. Thanks for joining us, Ant, and tell me, you were down in the pit lane earlier. How do you think the track conditions are today? Well, it's looking a bit cold out there, if I'm honest. These tyres have quite an hour operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with a cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top ten finish. Yeah, I'll try, Jeff. Uh, we're looking quite good at the moment. Um... So yeah, we just got a little close up of Delatrez there. Hopefully, you know, we may be able to see something good from him. Um, you know, it'd be nice if I could just keep him, really. Like, he's got the, you know, experience now. He's upgraded a little bit, but like I said, Jack Aiken's stats are way higher and I feel like he can do a bit better, but on to the race we go then. And it is... Lights out. And away we go here. What a start! Take it kind of easy. Made a position on the inside of signs here. Trying to get slipped through off Ricardo. We're going to lunge it. Even on Ricardo, which was kind of a surprise. Got warned for collision with signs there. That was nowhere my fault. We just swerved a little bit. But up to P7, which is incredible stuff. So we're the best of the rest at the moment. Could we try and keep this form? All right, we're looking good so far. Yeah, cool. Thanks, Jeff. I don't think I'll catch a Red Bulls, Ferraris, or Mercedes. So I just got to try and keep. Where I am right now, but never say never, something happens to them. Could see. Oh, this man right here getting up. So let's just take a quick look back at the start of the race, and it is lights out, and away we go here for Austria for round 11 of my team career mode. And we go over a pretty decent start, jumped the runner, which is very nice, and lobbed it down inside of both Sainz and Perez, which got us up to P8 there which was very nice we just had to keep pushing on though and try and attack signs as he retook a position off us so he lobbed it down inside and managed to take P8 back trying a move on Ricardo there which got us up to P7 very nicely and now we just got to keep pushing on and defend off Ricardo obviously we're not going to be able to challenge the Red Bulls, the Ferraris or the Mercedes well not Ferraris just yet without their performance dampening um, but yeah we'll just keep pushing on and try and finish at least 7 and see what we can do with that and yeah this car is definitely capable of getting points now I reckon there we go I knew this was going to happen eventually. Defended nicely. Car's not handling very well as it was in... Oh, so Ricardo. Wasn't handling as well as it was in qualifying, not gonna lie. On the outside. Oh, oh, what a battle going on right here. He's still there. Yes, we kept it. Back up to P7. If it isn't one runner we're battling with Ocon, it's another, which is Ricardo. So this is quite funny. 
obviously as we all know I was battling off on last time for the win and now I'm battling Ricardo for 7th this could be interesting oh come on Delatraz trying to use the OS but I can but not too much don't think it'll get me, surely not Damn, I'll be making moves right now. He's catching, he's catching, he's catching. Ah, oh, I'll vote myself. Dang it. Switch back. Oh, no, I can't let him get away. Got to keep with him. Oh great, here we go now, I've got the dirty air. Oh my engine's over here. We're approaching the pit window, you'll be on the hearts. I'm struggling like hell right now. I'm a bit slow down the straights as well because of the engine overheating problem. Just trying to lean for a little bit. Try and cool the engine down a bit. The oh, safety car! Has been deployed. Let's find out what's out. Make sure you keep it positive as we catch the pack. A new strategy is available on the MFD. What the hell? Copy that. Let's pit this lap, obviously. So that's great timing. Exit now. You'll be racing as you leave the pits. Go, go, go. In the pits, Louis in the pits. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Cool. Up for like a lap, oh, about two laps. All down for once, my tyres felt good coming out of safety car. That's nice. Burned the steering there, but it's just the hard tyres, they're not very good. Obviously, no DRS yet. Pretty nice restart actually, not gonna lie. We still got Lance Stroll all over the back of us. I just realised Lance Stroll's jumped. Signs. It's a shame for him, but 
I'm going to complain. But actually, I probably should because Stroll's looking very fighty right now. Okay, I have to back off there. Stroll is still catching. That's a bit defensive. Defending nicely on that one. Much closer to Ricardo now. Come on, catch! Screw it, send it. Oh, that was a bit of a day move. I think I may have gave Ricardo damage there. Shit, sorry, Ricardo. I tried to send it. I have to watch a replay back of that at some point to see. Damn, now I'm going wide and everything. So I'm wondering if that was kind of my fault or did he turn into me and could have left me enough space? Or maybe I just caught my surprise and he wasn't expected me to dive. But I was so close and I just I need to go for it. Realise Albon's been trying to catch us down as well, and he is catching. We have two laps of fuel remaining. Not a very good passing opportunity, but he went for it, and it looks like it's messed up. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Gap to teammate behind is 36.2 seconds. Had to flip it to Rich as well. Only do it for the rest of the race. Go for it. That one's one. I think the main battle's here though. lost it then. Honestly, I think one more lap and we could have been pressured by Albon, so. Oh my god, that was so dodgy. We did it. Well, there we go then. P6, that was another great race from P10. Made four positions, which is nice. Um, we got very lucky there. Lance Stroll, we defended off Lance Stroll very nicely. And Alex Albon, who got messed over by the safety car, really, because he double stacked with Verstappen. We got quite lucky there, because one more lap, I reckon, he would have had us both. So we had to watch out for that. Obviously, Red Bull was quick. And Louis Delatraz, 20th. And the only positions he made was... Two retirements from two retirements, so that's yeah. I'm sorry, um, Louis, but Jack Akins is uh, is going to be taking your place. I'm afraid. Even Kim Raikkonen had a five second penalty, still finished ahead of him. So yeah, I'm sorry, Louis Delatraz. So the time has come. So obviously, sadly, Louis Delatraz he hasn't formed. So we are going to go to driver market. And change this. So Jack Akins is the one we were watching. So I think I will approach him.
Here, you can make an offer to your driver. The more you offer, the greater the chance of them agreeing to it. But be careful not to insult drivers, though. If you do, they might refuse to deal with you anymore in this negotiation period. Oh, so we need to watch out as well. This is the first one doing this, not gonna lie. Low risk, medium risk, high risk. Hmm. I want to try and... I'll, I'll go medium risk. Signed, you have successfully negotiated for Jack Aikens to join the team for the next 11 weekends. Let's go! Get in! I'm sorry about, well, you know, having to get rid of Louis de Tres, but what can I do? You know, I'm just... I had to go for it. I had to, I had to do it. You know, he, he hasn't, hasn't been performing very well. Um, he's even been getting beaten by the Williams. As you can see, our team is higher than the Williams, so he shouldn't be doing that. But I don't know. I don't know what to say. There we go. 147 days we've got him. So hopefully Jack can, well, do well. Um, Louis Delatraz, he's a free agent again. Hopefully he'll get a drive somewhere else in Formula 1. But right now, I'm sorry, I, got, I had to give it to Jack just to see how it goes. We can actually do some upgrades now, which is quite nice. I'll quickly grab a couple of upgrades from the R&D tree because a few have failed. Um, but yeah, we also can go for a few upgrades in here. And I think what I will do for this is... Put, I'll, I'll leave that one for now. I think I'll go more for chassis because I haven't actually got any chassis yet. So we will upgrade the chassis a bit. Um, and then also, can we get any more? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I think Jack Aikens is alright on the simulator at the moment. Why well, he doesn't need too much because his stats are pretty decent anyway. But yeah, it looks like next we have actually got an invitational event. So yeah. Production line earlier this week, so the entire development package for this weekend has failed. Check your R and D screen to order any redevelopments. Oh great, that's great banter. Well, I can't order any yet, sadly. But yeah, let's just jump straight into the invitational event then. So driving the classic McLaren, nineteen eighty eight McLaren. Very nice. Uh, it's just a three laps we have to do within two minutes, I guess. Around Japan short, so see how that goes, basically. So yeah, really enjoying driving this classic beast of a car, 1988 McLaren, obviously. Really nice handling, and well, the car just feels absolutely amazing through Japan short circuit. Um, not gonna lie, I kind of wish it was Japan full. And it's a different challenge because, you know, it's an iconic car on an iconic track where a lot has happened. Um, but yeah, we'll just keep going anyway and enjoy this challenge. So yeah, coming down towards turn one then, we actually do make a massive mistake which costs us massively. We go massively wide here which isn't ideal. Luckily just stay off the grass on the exit but really pick up the marbles there which isn't ideal. But We'll try and keep pushing on and see if we can make that time back, hopefully. Uh, we've still got plenty of time though, so we have still got time to kill. And it looks like we are just going to do it just in time with six seconds remaining. Let's go. So yeah, managed to uh, do it under 2 minutes 15 seconds, got 150,000 which is nice and plus 1,000 acclaims, so that's really good. Guys, I'm going to leave this video here, if you enjoyed this video then make sure to like and subscribe, but thank you for watching, and goodbye.